Your Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, Mama wa Taifa B. Rachel Ruto, Head of Public Service Felix Koske, my sister CS Penina Maronza, all the PSs present, our foreign guests, our diplomats, members of parliament, Mabibi na Mabona Hamjambo. I just have a few minutes. I'm going to full powers to declare peace, to declare war, and to marry many wives. That is why I have been given those powers by the constitution of where I come from. Today is a wonderful day when we celebrate who we are. When we celebrate our diversity, we celebrate our culture as a people. And I think today the reason that we set aside this day as Utamaduri Day is really to reflect first of all on where we are coming from as a nation and secondly where we are going as a people. When I look at us who are here today we have got so many things that we can learn from our tradition and from our culture and as head of public service has said it is time we take stock and ask ourselves how many of the things that we are doing today are at variance with how our founders and our ancestors were doing things if you look at the current problems facing our people, problems of illicit bruise, drug and substance abuse, are things that were not there and could not even be stomached by our ancestors. And if we just try to make a copy and paste of their system of government, indeed, even as a government, we are going to be very successful. Our traditional medicine our traditional jurisprudence, the way we conducted the settlement of disputes among the people, we can indeed learn a lot from that generation. Today we are also here grappling with problems like climate change. Our people, and I've seen light from here, from the many dresses that I've seen from all over the country, our people were naturally conservatist. Where I come from, we associated our God to the, our four water towers which border our people. Kire Nyaga, Kire Biroiro, Kire Jahe, and the plains of Nyandarwa were put almost at the same level of admiration and reverence as indeed our traditional God. And that goes to show that our people were naturally conservatist. And if we just try to learn from them, we'll ask ourselves whether by the actions we are doing today to destroy our environment, are we better off or worse off than our ancestors? Wakati mungina mi ufikiria tularudi nyuma kuliku kuenda mbele wazazi wetu wazee wetu walikuwa wanapata mambo ingine sisi despite ya kuwa tumesoma tumeona dunia hawakujua mambo ya kusafiri na ndege they were better than us last week i was in a village in vihiga and i challenged the people from that place in bunyore there is a clan there that is known for rain making and I asked them, instead of our president going all over the world trying to solve the problems of climate change, why can't the people of Bunyore volunteer and solve these problems for us? Which brings me to the issue of our traditional knowledge and how we can be able to not only utilize our traditional knowledge to be able to solve our contemporary problems, but also indeed to commercialize them and benefit from them. We have the uh, wonderful work that 
uh, CS Penina Maronza has done uh, with, the, with the PS uh, for Culture uh, last week in the cabinet. We passed uh, the Culture Bill for the first time now in the Republic of Kenya we have got a bill to protect our culture. And indeed, in our cabinet, we also uh, approved that Kenya uh, ratifies and joins the UNESCO Protocol of 1954 for the protection of culture. So those foreign people and foreign nations which have been coming here, reading our artifacts, reading our emblems of heritage, our Ushanga, our Maasai culture, we are saying now, because we are protected by international laws and conventions, that that is going to be a thing of the past. Even to photograph a Maasai, now you have to pay, and you pay in US dollars. Because we are now protected by international laws. So, as we move forward, let us now try to get the best of that culture. To use culture for peacemaking, our people, our ancestors knew exactly when to make peace and when to make war. When I look at what is happening in places like Kapendo, uh, in, the, in the Kario Valley, in Lamu County, where something very close to ethnic cleansing is taking place, if we could use our institutions of cultural uh, resolution to the disputes, we can be able to use our elders and save Professor Kindiki, the guns, the bullets, the men, and the machines that he is deploying, trying to bring peace to our country. As I conclude, let us also learn about preservation of our cultural institutions, our heritage, our religious places. And I'm saying this in relation to the very unfortunate war that is taking place in uh, Israel and Palestine. That war is bad and war should be condemned. But even more vehemently is that people who choose to do the wrong things and go to war should respect our cultural buildings, our cultural institutions, our religious institutions, and really ask yourself if these things were totally destroyed by the previous generations, which were also going to war, we would not have found them today. So, kuhawa machache, nichukwe nifursa kualetea apology ya waziri wetu wa utamaduni, bi Aisha, lakini sikuizi, tukona one government approach. Tulapanya kazi pamoja, na hata nikitoka hapa, naenda kumuzimamia kwa event ya gender, because kazi ni kazi. Asante ni sana. Thank you so much, Waziri. And uh, now I'll take this golden opportunity to invite the Iron Lady, Mama Wanchi Yetu Ya Kenya, Her Excellency, 